Hi, this is Miss Torres, and I am going to read you another story from Laura Numeroff. And this one is If You Give a Mouse a Brownie, also illustrated by Felicia Bond. I also have the video up for If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, so you can check that one out too. Here's the title page If You Give a Mouse a Brownie. If you give a mouse a brownie, he's going to ask for some ice cream to go with it. When you give him the ice cream, he'll ask you for a spoon. He'll start drumming on the table. Drumming will get him so excited, he'll want to start a band. You'll have to play guitar. He'll want to put on a show. So you'll have to build a stage. Then you'll need some spotlights and a microphone. When the stage is finished, he'll want to make lots of tickets. You'll have to find paper and markers. When the tickets are done, he'll decide to make posters as well. He'll hang them all over the neighborhood. Rock concert. When he's out hanging them, it might start to rain. He'll fold some posters and make a little boat. Then he'll sail it in a puddle. He's sailing a boat. He'll get so wet, he'll start to sneeze. You'll have to put him in your pocket to stay nice and warm. When he peeks out of your pocket, he'll smell something delicious. The smell remind him that he is hungry. You'll have to take him to the store and get him a few things to nibble on. Of course, he'll want to have a picnic. When the sun comes out, you'll have to take him to the park. While you're setting up the picnic, he'll see a playground. He'll jump on the swings. He'll go as high as he can. When he looks up at the sky, he might notice a big white cloud. The cloud will remind him of ice cream. He'll probably ask you for some too. And chances are, if you give him some ice cream, he'll want a brownie to go with it. And that is the end of If You Give a Mouse a Brownie. Make sure to check out the other story, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, too. Thanks for watching.